All right, here's a quick overview of Calculus 1, also referred to as Differential Calculus. What you learn in this class is one main idea, although it turns out to be a pretty complicated idea, and it is the idea of the derivative. And it probably sounds like something you've never heard of before, but it turns out it's really similar to something you're probably quite familiar with at this point, and that is the idea of the slope. Um, so what I mean by slope, where you've probably seen it before, is in linear equations, right? For example, a function like this, maybe when you look at this, you know to see this is in the form y equals mx plus b, where the m is a 2 and the b is a negative 1. So it's a linear equation. And we know that its y-intercept is down here at negative 1. And we know that its slope is 2. So if you go up 2 and over 1, you get another point on the graph. And then if you connect those two points with the straight line, you get the graph of your equation, f of x. So what we want to figure out is what is the derivative of this function. OK, first of all, some notation. The derivative of a function x is written like this. Um, the way you say this is f prime of x. So what we're saying is this function f of x, what is its derivative? That's why you put this little prime in right here. And OK, derivative, it's this new concept, but we're just thinking slope. So here's a linear equation. We know the slope is 2. So it'd be really nice if the derivative of this function were just 2. And in fact, it is. Um, the slope of this function at any point is 2. So its derivative is just 2. I could even graph its derivative on the same graph if I wanted to. The graph of something equals 2 is just saying the height is always equal to 2. So you get this horizontal line at a height equal to 2. So we got a function and its derivative here. Um, might seem like this is all review, and you're probably curious you, you've probably heard calculus is a really hard class. How could derivative be this simple? Well, I can show you in this next example that maybe it's not quite that simple. But if you keep thinking about it in these terms that you're familiar with, maybe it won't be quite as bad for you. So let's do another example here, except let's change our function. Instead of thinking of the derivative of this function right here, let's take the function maybe x squared minus 1. So what we'll want to figure out is the derivative of this function. We already know the notation. We know how to write that, similar to what we did in that first example. Like the derivative of f of x is f prime of x. The derivative of g of x would be g prime of x. Um, so maybe the first thing we should do is try to graph this function right here. You may remember from another math class that the graph of this function is a parabola, kind of the u-shaped graph. Um, but this minus 1 out here, what it does is it shifts the entire graph down by 1. So if I kind of try to set up a scale here, the vertex, instead of being at 0, 0, shifts down to 0, negative 1. Um, and then I guess you can just plug in some values for x to see what the height should be and sort of connect the dots. When x equals 1, 1 squared minus 1 is 0. When x equals 2, 2 squared minus 1 is 4 minus 1, which is 3. 1, 2, 3. So we'll put a dot up here. And similarly, if you plug in negative 1 and negative 2, you get these respective heights. And if we connect all these dots, trying to keep it in a parabola form, sort of U-shaped, the function will look something like this. So now we have the question of finding the derivative. OK, remember, derivative is the slope. But we have a problem here, right? We don't, slope is a term that we've only defined in terms of straight lines, right? We know the slope of this line right here. But here we have a curve. We don't have a straight line. So it's hard to figure out what the slope is. Um, I find that most people's intuition is correct at this point. They'd kind of say, well, we can figure out the slope. It's just changing, right? Over here, it kind of looks like it's got a negative slope. And it's still negative here, but not quite as steep. And then it kind of gets to zero here. And now it's positive, but not super steep. And then you get up here, it gets a little bit steeper. Um, and in fact, that's exactly correct. Uh, 
we're obviously going to need a more concrete definition than just it sort of looks like this. So what we're going to do is the way we will define the derivative of a curve is by thinking about the slope of the tangent line at any point on that curve. So that might seem really confusing, but really all I'm saying is we don't know the slope of a curve, but we do know the slope of a line. So the way we'll figure out the slope at any given point, we just choose a point, maybe I'll choose this guy right here. Any point on this curve is what we'll do is we'll draw the tangent line. A Little bit hard to draw, but there's a decent effort at it. And so the way we'll figure out the slope at this point on the blue curve is by thinking, okay, what's the slope of this green line right here? We're comfortable with the slope of lines, so what we've kind of done is transformed the curve into a straight line at a given point. So it kind of looks like this green line right here, maybe the slope of that line is two. Turns out that's exactly right, although it might be hard to tell with my bad drawing. Um, but we could do that at any point, right? We could also do that down here. The slope would be zero, right? It'd be horizontal. Or way up here, we'd have a negative slope and it looks like it would be really steep, right? So you can draw the tangent line at any point on this curve, and then the way we'll define the derivative, the slope of that curve at that point, is by thinking about the slope of the straight line, which is the tangent line. I haven't even defined what a tangent line is, but maybe if I draw a couple of them, that'll be good enough for now, and then in the next video we'll give a more concrete definition. Um, tangent line, the one nice thing about it is, again, I find most people's intuition is right. You kind of think, oh, it's sort of that thing. It sort of just touches the curve, um, and that ends up being exactly what it is. But don't worry, I'll give you a much more concrete mathematical definition in the next video. Um, but anyways, if you could figure out, if you could draw infinitely many tangent lines on this curve so that you could figure out the slope at any given point, and then maybe you could find a function that would tell you the answer to the slope of all these different tangent lines, you'd have the derivative. That might seem like an impossible task, but it's really not as bad as it seems. In fact, I can tell you that the answer in this case is just 2x. What we'll do in this class is learn how to get curves like this and figure out their derivatives. We'll learn lots of little tricks, and by the end of the class you'll be able to find the derivative of about just about any function you can think of. Um, I want to be clear here, there's no reason you should know this answer right now. I'm just sort of telling you the answer but not telling you how I came up with this 2x. We can sort of check it, right? When x equals 0, that's this tangent line right here, we'd want the slope to be 0. And if you plug in a 0 here, 2 times 0 is 0. So in fact, it looks like the slope is right. This thing is predicting the slope when x equals 0. We can try a couple other points. Right here is when x equals 1. Plug in a 1 here, the slope should be 2 which is what it's supposed to be with this green line right here. Similarly, if you plug in negative two, we should get negative four, which, I don't know, up to a bad drawing of a line, I mean, it looks close enough. You, maybe you'd believe that the slope of this green line right here is negative four. But to be clear, you shouldn't be able to come up with this answer at this point. This is what we're gonna do in this class, is come up with this answer. But I just kinda want you to understand the concept of what a derivative means in this video. So in the next video, we'll come up with much more mathematical ways to be able to answer this question. And then for the rest of the class, we'll just start dealing with harder and harder functions. More and more complicated functions figure out how to get their derivatives. But whenever you think derivative, I just want you to think slope. And if you have a curve like this, and you have trouble thinking what the slope is, instead of thinking about the slope of the curve, you think about the slope of the tangent line to that curve at any given point. So there's a quick overview of Calculus 1.